All right, this is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 7, where we are going to learn how to multiply any whole number by a fraction, and we're going to continue using those tape diagrams rather than like some um, standard algorithm, because right now we're still at the point where we want students to be making sense of the math rather than blindly following an algorithm. So our first problem is 3 fourths times 25. Now the idea of this is uh, we're going to draw a tape diagram and because the denominator is 4 we're going to chop it up into fourths and that entire tape represents the number 25 and we want to know what is 3 fourths of 25. And so First thing we need to do is figure out the value of one unit. So the value of one unit is going to be 25 divided by 4. So uh, we're going to have to divide 25 divided by 4, and let's do that longhand because it's not hard. 25 divided by 4, 4 times 6 is 24, with 1 left over, so it's 6 and 1 fourth. So the value of one unit is 6 and 1 fourth, and so we can fill that in. 6 and 1 fourth, 6 and 1 fourth, 6 and 1 fourth, and 6 and 1 fourth. And now that remember, the question is we want to know 3 fourths. So 3 fourths is going to be these three right here. So we just have to add those up. Well, 6 plus 6 plus 6, 6 plus 6 plus 6 gives us 18, so I'm going to put 3 fourths, uh, no, I'm going to, well, yeah, is, okay, and then 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18, and then we have 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 3 fourths, so the answer is 18 and 3 fourths. I don't really like the way I wrote this, 3 fourths is no, three fourths is three fourths, but I should say three fourths times twenty five equals eighteen and three fourths. I like that better. All right. Now this one says three fourths of a number is twenty seven, and what is that whole number? All right. So basically, what the picture is, um, we're going to draw our tape diagram, and because the denominator is a four. We're going to chop it up into four pieces. Now, this time, they're telling us that 3 fourths is 27. So they're saying that these three pieces down here is 27, and the question is, what is the entire length of the tape diagram? So in this case, 3 units is equal to 27. So that means one unit is going to be 27 divided by 3. And 27 divided by 3 is 9. So that means each unit is equal to 9. 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27, plus an extra 9. So the entire tape diagram, 4 times 9, is 36, and that is our answer. 36 is the entire original whole number. And here uh, we're going to practice the same tape diagrams, only now it's going to be a word problem. We have a skating rink. They sold 66 tickets, and of these, two-thirds were children's, and the rest were adults. Now the big question is, you got to be pay, you know, pay close attention to the reading, which is how many adult tickets were sold. All right. So, the model isn't hard to draw because the denominator is 2 thirds, so the denominator is a 3. That means we're going to chop the tape diagram into three pieces. And they tell us that 2 thirds were children. So I'm going to put C and C. And that means this last unit over here is the adults. And all together, they sold 66 tickets. All right. So we want to figure out how much is one. Oh, I should put, 
Well, I could put this question mark here, but really the question is we want to know the adults. All right. And so we want to find out one unit. One unit is going to be 66 divided by 3. And we could do that in our head. The answer is 22. So the children is 22 plus another 22. So the children is 44. And the adults is also 22, but it's just 22. It's done. And there's our total of 66, because if you add 44 plus 22, you get 66. So how many adult tickets were sold? And the answer is 22 adult tickets. And the last problem for this video, the New York Rangers hockey team won three quarters of their games. And if they lost, so see how the, we have an opposite? We have the word won over here. But then they're talking about the opposite, which is lost. And you got to pay attention to that. That's serious close reading there. And the question is, so if they lost 21 games, how many games did they play the entire season? Now, the reason I chose this problem for this video is because, to, to be honest, I think it's a little wonky of a question. Because in hockey, you're allowed to tie. But they didn't mention in this question anything about ties. So I'm going to make this video, and we're all going to agree on the meaning of this question, because um, the math is easy, but <laughs> I think the question is involving hockey, and it gets a little confusing, especially for people who don't know that hockey games can end in a tie. So we're going to begin by cutting it up into fourths, because the fraction up here is four. Three-fourths has a denominator of a four. Now it says they won three-fourths of their games. So this three-fourths are all wins. So I'm going to put WWW. Now this last thing we're going to just say is a lo uh, loss. So we're not going to have any ties in this question. So we're all going to agree to that. Now it says if they lost 21 games. So that means this one unit right here is equal to 21. Well, if that one unit is equal to 21, each of these units is equal to 21. So I'm going to put 21, 21, and 21. And so the question is, how many games did they play the entire season? So if one unit is 21, then four units is 21 times four, which is equal to 84. So they played 84 games the entire season. And uh, that's it. The tricky thing about this question wasn't so much the math. The real tricky thing about this question is the fact that they only talked about wins and losses. And they didn't include the fact that hockey games can be a tie. But let's just pretend there are no ties for this problem. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 7.